Welcome to our newest ex exhibition here at the Peoria Art Guild. We have John Boylan here today, and we're going to be looking at all of his work here in the main gallery. And John, why don't you introduce yourself and talk about a little bit about your inspiration for structures. Okay, yeah. Hello everyone, John Boylan, local artist here, Peoria, Illinois. Uh, born, raised here, tried to escape, I'm back. Um, have a show called Structures. Um, really the inspiration about this show in particular was trying to get away from some of my more comedic elements and funny things I do and get to something really baseline that everybody knows and sees every day, buildings, etc. structures, if you will, um, and try to take my art style and manipulate it into something really basic, generic of what everybody sees every day, but doesn't see actually, because some of these things are, some people are, no, I don't want to see this, but um, you got to look at it or you look away. Um, and most of the structures are, some things are, are very simple and yes. straightforward, like a house, and yes. then some of them are buildings that are not so great, <laughs> that right. we remember in their prime, but now they look a little bit different. Um, and we do reference that in each one of the um, yeah. pieces that you do. Yeah. Now here, this, let's start with this one because I think this is interesting because you start with an image yes. and explain how you do that. And then in this case, we've added some um, some found some objects. Some found objects, yep. yes. Yep, That's exactly. the way to put it. Yeah, so this is actually, um, and a lot of the work in this show, um, I'd say maybe half of it, is actually our buildings, houses, or things in the Peoria, Central Illinois area. So you can find this house if you know where it's at. Um, the address is cl cleverly missing, <laughs> but, but, uh, but basically this isn't probably in one of the best neighborhoods, and this one is called IDOT. Uh, basically the roads across Illinois in general aren't the best, but if you go to a neighborhood and it's more neglected, you'll see roads that are just garbage. And I actually had the real, real road here and I was thrumming through a magazine as I do sometimes and I found these um, boulders, mountains for the escape and I'm like, oh man, that's perfect. That's going right here just to show really how rough and ragged this road is. Uh, not to mention I love the purple blue yellow combos that are going on in this one so do you start with a particular image a photo or a, um, some kind of print and transfer it onto a board yeah so basic well there's several different steps usually I'll start with the photograph so I photograph this location um, I'll take it um, onto my computer and I'll highly edit it change it in some way and do multiple versions of it and I'll paint, I'll kind of get an idea where it's going to go. I'll paint, I'll paint the uh, canvas in certain ways. I'll then transfer one of the images on there. I might add more things, do things, take away. Um, and then in this show, I've been experimenting with um, uh, silicone or a polymer, clear polymer, doing a coat of that and, and then putting another image on top of a just slightly different, same process again. Another one again, more painting, more things, so, adding more scraps, more detail, and then finally covering with a clear epoxy. glass epoxy coat. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of depth here, and that's the hardest part about my pieces is you can't get that from a photo. Yeah. Um, this is a particular one that Jeff and I just love. This is, um, it's Mike's Tavern yes. um, on Cedar. <laughs> it actually was originally the Cedar Street um, uh, bar, but, um, if anyone lives in West Peoria, yeah. they know exactly yeah. where this Mike's, is and yep. everything. And um, you've kind of changed it a little bit. It's not quite this colorful and it's kind of nonchalant when you're driving by. Yeah. You don't really, but it is it is the community meeting place. There are lots of people that go in and out of those doors constantly. Yep. And then you attached in this one, you attached a, a brush. Can you explain some of well, um, as a, some of the pieces, it's yeah. just like I'm working on it as things go, and I'll work on several pieces at one time, 20 to 50 at a time, set them aside, and then things come to me as I stare about it through in the studio. So one day I was just, this brush was sitting here, I was cleaning out something, and I was like, ah, oh, it was right next to here. I'm like, oh, that looked perfect with the <laughs> pole. Um, this particular piece and a couple of others, I challenged myself with, doing a really dark piece because my pieces are usually not dark they're really light bright but i wanted to incorporate a more dark so this is actually a nighttime photo 
and then enhanced and whatever and several layers again like the same mm -hmm. process so um, yeah we did notice when we were starting to curate this and that we have what we we call the darker <laughs> yeah side of it and we have some wonderful thing and that i love this one um because it's a water tower which it, living in in central illinois you drive to small towns and yeah. everybody looks for the water yeah. tower but then you kind of uh embroidered and scribed it with your own yeah. logo so yeah my logo <laughs> on there and, and this one is appropriately called vandal so if if I had the skills to climb up there, I would love to do that. Um, this actually, this piece could be anywhere in middle America, but this is actually in a little town in Nebraska when I was driving and it just caught my eye one day about a year ago when I was driving through there. And do so, you use like a, the camera as your sketchbook um, to remind, give you reminders oh, yeah. of what, how you, um, what you can use, the arsenal yeah. of, of images yeah, I that have, you can do? I have a tremendous amount of photography photos I'd say like 60,000. <laughs> These two we paired together because yes. it seems like they could be in the same area because the skies are the same, the street seems to be the same, everything. I just love this mid-century um, modern kind of um, architecture against this very traditional, so, um, yeah. and if Peoria anybody locations. has gone downtown, yeah. down to, um, Farmington Road, yep. they will recognize this yep. Um, tavern. Yep, this is, was quite the, the spot when I was uh, a young kid, and maybe my parents too, I don't know, but that was uh, the, quite the spot. I, think, I don't even know what it's named now, to be honest. I, to be honest, uh, I don't either. It was um, Cy Maroons, I believe, originally. Yeah. So, so, and then this here, I don't want to give away all the secrets, but this, we'll just say, is the old Mr. Donut when we were kids. Mm -hmm. So. Definitely and not then, a Mr. Donut and then I today. I like what you did with this one is that you yes. literally have um, texture, but I mean it's not. It, you put did the not texture over, yeah. and you did not make it because it. They see if you come in person and see these um, works, the resin makes them very, very smooth and almost yeah, perfect. Exactly. And here you disrupted this this lower part with this. I don't know if that actually cinders or what. It, <laughs> I mean, it looks I like I have a ton I'm, of different rocks, debris, <laughs> just garbage in my studio that I collect for cert certain reasons where I find like, oh, that can go there. So, um, And this was our announcement card. And I love this. This is just, to me, this is like a row yep. house yep. Um, up row in houses. Chicago, someplace like yep. that you with see these those, wonderful uh, buildings. And you, again, you lightened up the palette a little bit here. And so it's much, much more colorful. And I find this one is probably your most truly geometric. You kept, you didn't obliviate any of the rectangles. <laughs> obliviate, the like you know, it, they didn't they didn't disappear from the surface of your paintings like they do in some yeah. places. And a fun fact about this one: this is literally a found piece of wood somewhere laying on the side of the road or wherever. So, yep, just kind of repurposing some things there. And I do like that some of the places, um, actually Jeff and I have actually eaten, Last Chance being one of them, <laughs> a wonderful tavern. Um, and, and it is the last chance to stop and get a drink or a bite to eat yeah. as you leave Dunlap, Illinois. Yeah. Alta, <laughs> um, Illinois. And, and it's just, yeah. it's wonderful um, the way you did that. How do you determine which kind of patterns you're going to use? Because in this one and several down here, we have a strong, more pattern background or foreground. Um, and sometimes you just don't have any, it's just, it's just that it's just the artist's brain and just doing things so many times you just like, and you let it sit like, so it, it sat in a state of without this pattern for a long time because it wasn't done to me. So I just had to wait till something tricked me into thinking, how do I resolve this? And so I was probably working on something else, probably spray painting with this pinkish color on something else. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> And then this one has a little bit of a um, there's a lot of uh, social um, <laughs> statement here, and this is um, you you don't want to be my neighbor. Um, and we have just a regular old ranch um, house that we have like rolling acres has numerous of these, but underground. Oh, you're really getting in close. Your, in, your, in your basement, um, I see you um, hidden some of your <laughs> literally yeah. skeletons. Yes, <laughs> definitely, definitely some trash trash bags full of stuff down there. <laughs> so it's very curious as to what may be what what, what is your it? neighbors you have in your their homes yeah. as opposed to yours because it does and it is. Um, 
not that it's boring, but a lot of subdivisions, especially in the 70s and 80s, were boring. They had the same exact um, layout, the same oh, building everything. and everything. So yeah. it was rather mundane. And here you've taken it and it made us question our neighbors too. Yeah. Um, and I love this one because it, uh, and you do a lot of graphics, yes. you do a lot of IT stuff. And here we have signs, nothing but signs. And you put them all together. Um, I don't know. When, you don't know why to you know have where to this is. I don't know why you chose liquor as the. <laughs> do you? Do you? This is a is real it? sign, a real photograph of a real sign, and it's on the way to the local promised land from here. It's the exit you get off to get to Dick Blake Warehouse. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next time you see the sign, you'll know this, and you sh and you'll probably want to buy it. Probably. That's cool. <laughs> that is. Um, this is a favorite one of both myself and my brothers um, because we remember when Adams Street Supermarket was an actual thing and it was literally here for a minute. We had a gentleman from Chicago come down, said he was going to provide service for yeah. that food desert and um, it lasted less than a year. And you've taken it and it's still standing. It's just like that. It is missing the U from yeah. Supermarket. You just um, gave it a better just, title, Food Desert. <laughs> Man, is it too late for me to get to the pen on? Um, one thing I wanted to talk about too is I do a lot, a lot of these pieces, you'll see the buildings and there's a lot of foreground because I just love broken, nasty parking lots and just the cracks, the grooves, crevices, the texture. So what I try to do on each one is figure out how to create it differently than the other one. Not just do the same process, like, okay, that's how I make a front ground, yeah. front ground. Well, and here's the yeah. same same thing here, um, that we have an abandoned building. Yep. Um, and yep. it's- Fioria, Fioria, yeah, yeah. It's, Fioria. You know, <laughs> and you've taken that. Now this one relates back to your darker side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. that one kind of went down there. Yeah. But I, I love, and how do you start with just, I know you start with just the image, but do you go from top to bottom or do you, and a lot of your work is divided in two. So we have kind of a dichotomy going on, yes. a top and a bottom. Yes. Um, sometimes it's even in thirds, but. Um, yes. um, no, I'm usually working the whole piece at one time, but based on the nature of transferring and things, it can become two or three pieces where you can see it. I do my best to try to resolve around that, but it's not always easy, and sometimes I just say screw it because it's part of the process. Yeah, well, and I also think though, with the layering, you can see this, this almost looks like yeah. a watercolor because of the solvents, and then also putting one layer down and then possibly coming over with a different layer. So yeah. it gives a depth so, in a very natural way, even though you're using nothing but chemicals. <laughs> and that's the same, the same thing I did with that, is whenever I had skies, I tried to figure out how can I do them all different too. Um, for a couple of reasons, to make it interesting and to learn. Yeah. Now these two we thought was very interesting. We put them next to each other because this one, obviously very orange, has a lot of patterning just like either um, from tearing things up or just somehow it, it created that. And here you have a more controlled pattern with the circles and, and a particularly a whole set of, of small dots that are repeated constantly over it. Yeah, this one is really... I'll say more graphic, mm -hmm. stencily, um, um, and it kind of gives you that Chicago rave feel if you ever went to a rave party back in the day. <laughs> well, and I think the other thing is that, as you said, it's stenciled, but when do you know when to not allow the chemicals and stuff to start eroding the surface or the image and and altering it in that way? Oh. And I mean, because this one, the, the tree is, is perfectly tree, you know, yeah, and there's no, and over here, even with the house, we have things, the windows even are kind of well, leading you, into one another. You don't always know that as an artist, and that's, you, you screw that's, up so many things yeah. because you're like, well, I should have stopped like two steps ago, or that's the constant question you have, is it done, yeah. is it done? This one surprisingly had a lot more plans for it, and then when I was here, I was like, that's done, so yep. moved on. But there was way more <laughs> yeah. plans yeah. for that. Oh, and I, I am, yeah. and that's sort of like hood here. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is the largest piece that we have. I know you've done yeah. a lot more, but yeah. um, we chose just basically pretty moderate sized ones. Yeah. But this is hood, and I just, I love just what's all going on. You need to get your, get your name in there. Yeah. Little. 
Bit of ego yeah. there. We He's a mess like, marketer like, like in Peoria. He's just got to show himself just a little bit. <laughs> but again, this one is pretty dark for yeah, um, very dark um, hood reference. Like not the best neighborhood. You know, everything's in disarray. This has the most texture of found scraps in it by far. Literally the whole thing before I even started painting was textured with found pieces of paper, ripped up stuff, mag, anything. And you can, you can see yeah, down here, you can this see incredible it. pattern here, yeah. but then when you come up here, you're gonna see there's there's this other faint pattern that is totally, yeah, totally the opposite of that. It's not yeah. geometric, it's it's more um, organic and Yeah, this is really one fun. where if you had it, and every time you approached it, you would find something new or different about it. I think that's what's yeah. exciting about your work. Yeah. And that's what's exciting about this. Um, Jeff and I decided we'd do an installation. We'd structure your structures. Yeah. And so we built this um, kind of installation part. And I think um, one of the things that we did notice, I love the fact, I believe this is duct tape. Duct tape. Yep. And I love the fact that you incorporated in intentionally incorporated words, not yep. something necessarily just torn out yeah. of a paper and collaged on. Instead, you, you intentionally put the words in there. So as a group, can you talk a little bit about these? Because they are, are all different, but they yet they're very similar. It's almost like you're reading it from left yeah. to right. I mean, they're, they're all similar because they are structures and buildings, uh, but they're, they're different. Um, I don't know how to even talk about this except for this one. It's pretty easy to see. It's self-explanatory. The violated in the in the merry-go-round, and you know you can just think of all the bad things. Um, Charade um, was hilarious because I just love that name. It's the name of a little car. I, it's a it's actually the thing that goes on the back of the car, or whatever yeah. the whatever you call yeah. it. And that's a Peoria. Like if you haven't been to this place in Peoria, you need to go. This building is amazing with all the overgrowth over it so do you know where that's at down at southwest adams isn't it or, yes yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right across from the infamous um cookie Mural. monster yeah, yeah. Oh, and, then, and then <laughs> this one this truly is this yeah. one truly is was a construction site in peoria so we're just yeah this isn't too <laughs> far down the road where this was literally i one night i was like See, to me, that's beautiful. I get oh, out it is and I see the, the the colors. I'm like, all oh, the oranges and the whites. And I'm like, oh. Well, I think anybody, <laughs> and So I'm the guy getting out see, uh, at the stoplight, yeah. like taking a picture of that. But I think but you, the best element here was I was sitting here, and, uh, you know, while I was looking at this and resolving things, I have this <laughs> little deep sea uh, guy down oh, in, the, look at in, that. The, in the water down there. And I just thought, I love to hide a few things in my paintings here and there. Um, let's see, I gotta put my, my cheaters on, but Charade has something really hidden in it, in it too. So that's something for people to look for. If you watch the video, there's a little, little kitty cat sitting up on top of there. Um, and there might be a cat or two in some other places. So there's some things, if you look at them long enough, you might, that might come to the surface. Um, this oh, we got more. This, oh, we keep going. <laughs> um, this next series, though, is literally uh, urban cityscapes. They're all buildings. They're all very much uh, landscape. There's a horizontal line to them, and they yep. they just are very direct. I love the one that um, this is one of the few times that you actually have an object that is an object in a photo <laughs> that you didn't alter anything. I just yeah. but I love this chair outside of this door yep. thinking okay do we go is this a welcoming yeah, thing or what is, you know where is yeah. this and and the same goes for for yeah. this a lot of people drive by this every day main um, street main street so. main street <laughs> off of main street so all peoria 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 uh this these these few were my attempt at not going far with my process mm -hmm. and yep. staying very intentionally like gen, not generic but I don't want to say contemporary, but more just the least amount yeah. to get across. Well, and there's the obvious it. collaging too. You didn't yeah. um, throw resin over all of these, yeah. and so that there you have this texture and yeah. this this layering going on, and especially these two, and then this one down here, um, yeah. which almost looks like snow, or I don't know what. It's all sorts of different things. Yeah. So um, yeah, I've once again it's me seeing some scraps on the side of the road, and I'm just like getting out of my car real quick and now, picking them up. The, did you take all these photos? at the same time? 
about that. Mm, maybe not. No. Okay. no. I just wondered if while you're in a neighborhood, yeah. if you just you know yeah. go crazy and take a, a slew of pictures so that you have an art, you know yeah. that little. And the interesting part portfolio. about these two is this is found wood that I specifically chose because it had these beautiful rust patterns on where at one time it had been belted to, as a shipment. Mm -hmm. Same with this one, it was just belted right, so I tried to work around all that. This one has it in there, although it's hard to see, has the same rust thing, so they were all found pieces mm -hmm. of wood. Well, I love, nice again, rectangle. you have this very, um, yeah, so one of this pattern that's just, it's terrific because it works well um, against the rigidness of the house. And then you've got these organic shapes, almost floral like yes. in that one. It's yep. really fun. And then this last series, um, I think, are your most heavily collaged or assembled pieces. We have everything from. Um, weather fencing yes. to we have <laughs> broken glass we have a tree a mm -hmm. stick from a tree and then we have this moss that's um created uh, what in this case it's um overgrown yes. bushes yes, we have definitely. the tree which is literally a tree with not so real grass but that's okay and <laughs> we have the gl glass this one um you put so much onto it that the house almost becomes secondary that you really, I mean, it just draws you yeah. to, to that yeah. piece. That was just right me mixing all the elements and things. Uh, once again, that piece was another found simple piece. Same with the rust straps on there. This was some found glass. Um, it was a bigger piece and I had to try to figure out how to bust it just right to mm -hmm. size. Um, so this is kind of telling yeah. that a lot of stories in there you can read into there. Well, I think this is safe, yeah. the old, the original safety glass where it's got some yeah, it's wires got to it so that you can't, um, you mm -hmm. know, break through it and everything. Yeah, I ran across some great glass I have. I'm trying to figure out how to use it. I have some really cool stuff. Um, well, this th one is up for interpretation. Is There's a lot to take in here if you choose to do so with the flag and the little yellow ribbon and yep. the tree and whatever you do what you want with it but i have my well they, and ideas. i think these are the most narrative yeah. this the last two yeah. groupings are the most narrative of them because there's there's a common image that all of us i mean the red barn you know driving anywhere <laughs> from yeah. here to chicago or even here to bloomington you see a red barn no matter what this is that barn is literally like probably a mile mm -hmm. from my house so <laughs> anyhow I see it all um, the time this Exhibition is up till the end of the month. Please come and visit us and um, look for our um, other openings for uh, next month on our um, newsletter. Yes. Thank you, John and John. Thank you. Thank you.